Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 29 of new Selenium IDE. That is how to use verify not text command. Selenium has a huge list of commands and verify not text command is one of them. So what's the purpose of this verify not text command? So the purpose of this verify not text command is to check whether the given text is not available on the UI element, okay? On the required UI element, whether this text is not available or not, you are checking. It's clearly an opposite of verify text command, which I have explained in the previous video, okay? One of the previous videos, I explained this verify text command and this verify not text command is an opposite, direct opposite of this verify text command. So while verify text command checks whether the given text is available on the UI element, as an opposite, verify not text command will check whether the given text is not available on the UI element. Okay, if the given text is available, this verify not text will fail. If the given text is not available, then this verify not text will pass. It's an opposite working of this verify text case. Okay, we are not, we are verifying that the text should not be there. Okay, here in this case of verify not text, we are checking whether the text is not available or not. Okay, if it is not available, then it will pass. It's an opposite of verify text command. And one more thing you need to know here is like, since it has verify in its command, verify not text has verify in its command. It's like a, what do you call, like a, it's a soft assertion. Okay, the soft assertion. It is soft assertion type of command guys. So that means if a step, can, if a step having this verify not text command fails, it will still continue the execution. Okay, all the steps following this failed step will be continued executing. Okay, so soft assertion. So it's an uh, like uh, there are like hard assertions and soft assertions. If you have this assert not text here, then that is an hard assertion, which will which when fails will not continue execution. But coming to the verify not text, it has a verify command in it that is a soft assertion and it will continue the execution irrespective of whether this command fails or passes. Okay, it will continue the execution. Fine. Now let me practically demonstrate how to use verify not text command in Selenium IDE. I have opened Selenium IDE here, guys. Let me open Selenium IDE here. Open the browser. I have just opened the browser and just uh, opening the application, sample application here. Now click on the Selenium IDE icon. And click on create a new project. Give any project name, say QFox, and click on OK. Select this first row. And before doing any operations here, we need to first open the application. So I need to give a command known as open command. And target should be like a forward slash. That means this open command of Selenium ID will open the base URL of the application. This forward slash will stand for the base URL of the application. Once the base URL of the application is opened, then we can perform some operations. Like here, I will give some command known as verify not text, okay? Verify not text. And when you select this command and uh, second row and then click on this reference tab, you will get more details about this, how to use this command. As you can see, verify not text, locator and locator of the UL element that you are trying to match and then text, okay? Let's say if I give something like uh, XYZ, okay? XYZ here. XYZ is the text that should not be there on the required UL element, okay? So here, if if I match this particular thing with this button two, so let me inspect this button two guys and uh, how to locate that button two, I'll show you, okay? So it has some ID guys, copy this ID. So locator will be ID is equal to BOT2, okay? Now, this will locate this button. Verify not text will check whether this particular button ha doesn't have this XYZ text or not. If XYZ text is not there on this button, this particular, statement will pass, okay? Since this text is not available, it will pass. And uh, text not available in the sense, this particular button that will have some text between the starting and ending text, okay? It will only check for the 
text between the starting and ending text guys but not uh, okay but not somewhere okay if there is no text between the starting and ending text this verify not text command will not work okay verify not text will only check uh, check this particular text with the text between the starting and ending text okay if x if this particular text is not matching with the text that is there between the starting and ending text this particular step will pass okay let's see that so this should pass guys okay let me run this it is asking for the application url so let me give the application url and say start playback so see that the application is opening now and it will pass guys the second step will pass because xyz text is not there with that button in between the HTML uh, tags of that button. You see, the step got passed, guys. Okay, that means XYZ text is not there between the tags of this particular button. That's why it got passed. What if I give the text that is there between the tags? You see here, Button 2 is the text that is there between the tags and I am trying to verify that this particular text is not there between the tags, but it is there guys. Okay, it will fail. Now run it. It will fail now. Observe that verify not text command got failed because this button 2 is there in between the tags of this particular button. Okay, fine. Now, even after the failure, since this verify not text is a soft assertion type, okay, it will continue the execution guys. To confirm that, I am giving some close command. After this verify not text command, I am giving the close command in the third step, okay, which is following the failed second step. Now, if I run it again, the second step will fail and the execution will not stop. Test execution will continue and this close close command will be executed, okay, as you can see now. Let me close everything and then run it again. See this time, guys. Uh, this will fail the verify not text, and still after failure also, the the step following this verify not text will be continued, as you can see here. It's taking a while. Yeah, it it has failed the step two, and uh, it has closed the browser also. That means, irrespective of the failure. The test execution will continue in case of soft assertion types like verify not text. Okay. So this is how guys we have to use verify not text command in Selenium ID at the next. Okay. In the next video, I will explain the next command of Selenium ID that is asset value command. So that's it guys. See you in the next video session. Thank you. Bye.